So how did you sleep last night? I slept like a baby. My secret, I go to bed each and every night wearing this very suit. I do take the shoes off before I hit the sack because keeping them on would be weird. There's a whole slew of people though around the world who just can't seem to get a good night's sleep. Luckily, there's one woman who's done something about it. She had to count about a billion sheep first, but she's done something about it. Here's Allie Ward. When morning comes, do you wake up rested? Is that early light your friend or nemesis? Sleep researchers have long known that we are at our best with proper rest. So I traveled to Mountain View, California and found at least one place where they strive not to be sleepless in Silicon Valley. This is Julia Hu, the 29-year-old co-founder of Lark Technologies. And this is the home office of an app called Lark. It primarily tracks your sleep and your physical activity and specializes in sending its users positive messages like a buddy would. It measures your exercise, your walking, your biking, your sleep, your nutrition, and it helps you with stress. Where does it get the information from? It's looking at the tiny little micro motions on your phone, and we basically take a look at that and interpret that. We decided that if your phone is always on you, we might as well put our chat buddy on the phone so that the chat buddy now just uses the phone sensors to take a look at what you've been doing, how you've been sleeping, how you've been exercising, and it just texts you and chats with you. Julia and her team found that most people look at their phones just before they turn out the lights and go to sleep, then check it again as soon as they wake. So Lark detects the lack of phone movement while you're in dreamland and calculates how long you've likely been asleep. So let's see, my sleep last night? That's awful, that's awful. One hour and 58 minutes of sleep because I got up early to fly here, I, I was so excited. The ironies. I know. The help users get through the Lark app doesn't happen by chance. There's a lot of brainstorming that makes it come to life, and it's written all over the walls. The motivation for the app came from Julia's own personal need for better sleep, often interrupted by the fact that her fiance and Lark co-founder Jeff Zira likes to wake up at 5 a.m., and Julia doesn't. It began as a wristband that communicated with a smartphone to gently wake you up without waking anyone else. But now, with motion sensors built into most smartphones, Lark did away with the wristband concept and has evolved into a simple to use, free app. It's more like a friend nudging you to be more healthy. In addition to being able to evaluate data collected through your other health-related apps, Lark communicates with users not through charts, but words. What's really amazing about the human brain is that we are really social creatures. You know, we like to chat with people and we like to tell stories. That's how we learn. So you really distill all of these graphs and charts and arrows and numbers into a conversation that feels like someone's just like, hey. Exactly. You should go for a walk. Yeah. I love that Lark's voice is just in all of these little sticky notes everywhere. <laughs> it's like seeing a, like your friend's personality kind of laid out. <laughs> And after only one hour and 58 minutes of sleep, my friend no doubt would want me to take a nap.